A year prior, Mordecai Bentov, a signatory of Israel's Declaration of Independence and member of the wartime government, admitted to the fabrication of the threat of extermination to justify the annexation of Arab territories. Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin acknowledged in a speech in 1982 that the decision to attack Egypt in 1967 was not based on imminent threat, but rather a proactive choice by Israel. Contrary to popular belief, the narrative of seven Arab armies attempting to push Jews into the sea after Israel's creation is challenged. According to Benny Morris, an Israeli historian who emphasized Israel's military advantage in terms of organization, manpower, weaponry, and morale, stated the following. Prominent Israeli historians such as Martin van Creveld and Martin Gilbert debunked the myth of seven well-equipped Arab armies, highlighting Israel's numerical and strategic superiority during the 1948 war. King Abdullah of Transjordan, a key Arab leader, maintained friendly relations with Israel and refrained from joining Arab attacks due to his rivalry with the Mufti of Jerusalem, Haj Amin al husseini Financial incentives and clandestine arms supplies from Czechoslovakia and Zionist Americans, particularly the Sonneborn Institute and the Joint Distribution Committee headed by Adolf William Schweimer, further bolstered Israel's military position. The version of events propagated by the Israeli state aimed to legitimize Israel's acquisition of Palestinian rights, despite close to 400,000 Palestinians already ethnically cleansed from their homes, businesses, and plantations before the entry of Arab armies in 1948.